Hello everyone, this is System Collapse, and I'm back yet again playing FTB Beyond. And uh, yeah, well, I haven't done a ton between episodes. Did a little bit. I'm having myself a wonderful day. I hope you guys all are too. It's been a really good day. I like today. Uh, <laughs> uh, let me think here. I didn't do a lot. I did a lot of mana collection. So we actually have a lot of mana now. We have four full pools there. And we also have 12 of these tablets. It takes me about... 15 and a half minutes to fill a pool right now, so it doesn't take very long. I guess I have the about what that would equal what 10 pools Which is pretty good. So that is kind of what I did between episodes a lot of just sitting here uh, I moved my shut off upstairs just so I could turn it off and on very easily It's currently off. I switched the timer to it says forge multi-part It's actually an add-on to project red so to actually search for it, you have to actually go to timer. You can't search under project red. You might be able to search under just project. Let me check. Project. Don't know if it's in here or not. No, nope. it might be there. I'm not going to go to the bother. It doesn't really matter. Uh, you can just search for timer. If I can spell. There we go. And it's this one here. Project red integration. And even though it says, you know, forge multi-part CBE. We'll just pretend. Uh, what else? I meet the mana distributor. So let's take a look at that. Mana distributor. Six living rock, two mana steel. And uh, it distributes mana. So I have all the spreaders now shooting at the mana distributor. It distributes all the mana evenly between the four pools as it comes in. So that is the whole point of that. And I'm going to grab one of these and just show people because I made a whole bunch of mana steel mana powder and the mana mana pearls which are the ender pearls and I'm gonna just show people new players how to make this stuff there you go you just made it I just made a mana steel use a tiny bit of mana and uh, yeah that is how you make that stuff you just throw it in a pool and uh, like I said this is just iron the mana pearls are ender pearls and the powder you have three options you can use glowstone gunpowder or redstone I use redstone because I have a ton Okay, so what are we going to get to today? Well, today we're going to get to uh, the making of Terra Steel. Steel? Terra Steel? Steel? Terra Steel. I have no idea what that is. I'm just going to stop talking now. No. <laughs> we're making uh, Terra Steel, and I want to open up the Portal of Alfheim. Yes, I said that really quick because I really have no idea how to pronounce it. The Portal of Alfheim, I think is what it's called. I, I, I don't know how to pronounce it. Let's see here. Portal of Alfheim. That, we'll pretend that's how it's pronounced. Uh, <laughs> I just know it's the portal. It's the portal. It's an exchange portal. You throw things in, you get other stuff out. Uh, so you can get higher tier resources, basically, to make other things. So we're going to get to that. Uh, but we're going to need this runic altar. One of the first things we're going to need, and what the runic altar does is, well, it lets you make runes. So pretty straightforward. We're going to take that. We're going to throw that right there. So that's a runic altar. We're going to need a way to power it. So we're going to grab a spreader. Boop. Take that. Go that and that. So now that spreader is aiming out the altar. The uh, spreader is being charged from directly from the pool. So that is pretty cool. Uh, we're going to grab this stuff. We're going to actually, I have this stuff on my bar. So bone meal, mana steel, mana powder, fishing rod, and sugar canes. And this is actually the recipe for the root of water. So we're going to throw that there. And once you got the right recipe, it's going to make that little explosion sound. And you see on the little rune thing to the right of the X, uh, it's going around kind of in the pie, kind of like a clock would. And we're just going to grab a piece of living, wood, uh, living rock, throw that on there. Uh, now that it's charged, it tells you rock plus one <laughs> uh, down to the bottom right. So you throw that on, hit over one, and uh, we just got a new achievement. Drop pop candy, got two runes of water, and uh, we're on our way. And I need to make a bunch of these so I have a I have a bunch of this stuff Wow was that even English I don't think it was I don't think that was at all not even gonna pretend I need to make a bunch of these uh, I think for the I kind of calculated it I think I need 16 runes of water 16 runes of fire plus some other ones for some other things so I'm going to make a whole bunch of these now. So I'm going to turn this back on because I'm going to be burning mana now. Boop. And uh, I'm probably going to make a whole bunch of these off camera and uh, come back and we'll hook up when we have a whole bunch of uh, whole bunch of runes done. So I'll be back in a few. 
Okay, I'm back, and, uh, well, I'm not done yet. I, I made my first batch. I made two batches. I'm working on the fires now. Um, <laughs> I wanted to get to some upgrades, because making these lenses, not lenses, making these runes has been a little slow. Just waiting for them to charge. Not throwing the items on. It's just the waiting for the items to charge. Um, so I made two lenses here. I made the velocity. Uh, first, you're going to make this, which is a base lens which is four mana steel and glass pane. These lenses can be put on the spreaders to have different effects. Uh, the ones I'm using, one is velocity, makes it shoot faster, uh, the pulse goes faster, uh, but you lose 75% of its top potential, which isn't a big deal. I just want this to go fast. I don't care if I lose a bit of mana. Uh, the potency doubles it, so it gives you 200%. Um, the storage basically of the pulse, and I think of the spreader of it as well. Uh, but the downside is it makes it shoot slower, but this one's already going to override that and it's going to uh, make it lose mana faster if it was shooting a long distance, which is an issue right, right beside it. And uh, we need one more thing here. You can actually add multiple of these to... Do I have no slime right now? Are you serious? Uh, slime. Yeah, you can just turn these to slime, right? Yeah. Excellent. I kind of forgot. There we go. That's a solve slime. I actually, I probably don't even need slime, do I? Uh, <laughs> but uh, we can just take this and this, and it's going to make a composite mana lens of velocity poten uh, potency. And we take that now, throw that on there, and now when I make this rune of fire, it's going to charge way faster. That is, a, that is like three times faster. It's actually a little over double, but uh, there we go. And that's going to save me a ton of time. That was driving me crazy. If this is taking a while, make some of those lenses. Um, the ones I made right here, lens of velocity, rune of air, and the ren potency is this one, root of fire. So just need those two lenses and then you're good to go. I'm going to be making a ton of these anyway. That was kind of the reason I had made so much runes of the water. Uh, because I'm going to be putting them on my spreaders downstairs so I can add more flowers and sustain more flowers with those spreaders. But, uh, yeah, that's all I want to show you right now. I'm going to go back to grinding out runes and, uh, I will be back in a bit. Okay, I'm back and I made all my runes. I got a whole bunch of runes here. I made a whole ton more of these lenses and, uh, we're just going to get those in place really quick. Uh, I want to be able to add more flowers down here in time, but I'm not going to be able to do that without proper lenses so we're just gonna get them all going one thing I did learn making these lenses too uh, I can't target that one probably have to do that to all those um, is that what did I learn I learned something oh the slimes the slime it's not or dictionary so <laughs> you're going to have to use green slime uh, I had enough of the congealed green slime like uh, thankfully probably gonna have to grow some more of those trees because I probably will need some more of these lenses uh, possibly for other things, depending exactly what we do with Batania. Um, but yeah, definitely a problem. Definitely a problem you need to be aware of. Boop. And almost done here. There we go. I was going to say, why do I feel like I'm short of lens? I feel like I'm short of lens. We'll take a look here in a second. Two there. And do this. And yeah, once we get done this, we'll move on to other things. And you can see this thing is going to start catching up now. See, this one was behind. Now it's catching up. No problem. So it's going at full speed. It's keeping up with the flowers. And I should be able to add two to three more flowers per spreader. So should be something I can do. And I am missing a lens. I'm trying to think what could have happened. I thought I made enough. I must have made one short. We'll worry about that after. I'll make the last one after. Let's throw this here or I'll get comments in the video saying, I can't believe you didn't put in, put that piece of anti-block yet. You must have forgot that for the rest of your life. Oh, there's the last one. <laughs> it's a good thing I checked that too. There we go. We got that. And we shouldn't have to go back down there for a while. So that's done. That'll just make us get mana even faster. Oh, wow. That's already full. I just made three more stacks of mana steel and that's already full again better turn that off uh we're gonna start working towards terra steel so we need the agglomeration plate agglomeration plate 
I'm going to pretend I know how to say that. So we need three lapis blocks and a mana steel block. So let's grab some mana steel and I had lapis here ready, which I don't know why because I could have just grabbed it from the system anyway. There we go. So one, two, three, and a block of mana steel. There we go. And we should be able to make that. Boom. And this is the main component, but it is a multi-block that we have to build here. So, oh, there we go. Terra steel. Terra steel, blah, blah, blah. Don't really care about all that. We already made that. I just want this. So we're going to make this thing, but we're going to put it in a specific little place. Uh, let's grab our, we need an angel block. Just so we can build really easy. Actually, we don't even need an angel block, do we? We just need placement blocks. Uh, let's on visualize that for a second. Grab some placement blocks. And I've just got done playing uh, <laughs> Invasion not too long ago. And <laughs> I was playing some, play, placing some placement blocks. And I thought they were going to fall. Because in that pack you have gravity. It kind of confused me. 3, 4, 5, 6, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. That should be good enough. So let's just get that centered. I was going to kind of put it up here, I think. It was the plan. Is that centered? If I was centered, would I be here? Do I bump my head? Yes, I do. Excellent. I love bumping my head. Uh, so let's go here. Go to visualize. I should be able to right click. Oops. Is that stuck? Yes, it is. Excellent. So we're going to need some more lapis. And is that just living rock? I can't remember. Tear steel, tear checkboard patterns of level and living rock. Excellent. Uh, grab a drill, break down our scaffold. Take a second. A lot of people make a mistake with this, and I'll, I'll cover it in a second because they they mess it up and they're like, why why can't I make my my uh. Terra steel. Well, there's just just it's one block, one particular block. Everyone makes a mess of, and uh, that is that. Um, this one under the plate. A lot of people try to put lapis there. <laughs> I don't know why, because if you look at it, you can see it. I guess they might not notice it. I don't know. I have no idea. But tons of people put uh, lapis there, right there, instead of the actual living rock. And if you do that, it isn't going to work. Just something to be aware of. What is in my way? Oh, that's horrible. Why did I do this? We'll just do this and there we go. It's no longer in my way. We'll throw that there. Uh, we need you here. You here. Oh, there's a piece of, I don't like how it doesn't, you can't really see. Yeah, there's a block here too. Hold on. Not the best building guide, but uh, I'll take it. There, there, I guess there is one there already. Might as well derp it up, do that. Yes, I'll go down and pick this up because that drives people crazy apparently. Uh, this, 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 and that. Should be able to break that. Just gonna throw a plate down. There we go. Now, what we're gonna do is grab some sparks Throw these. Well, we don't need this anymore. Right here. So let's get rid of that. And we don't need that there right now. So let's move that. Let's get our anode block back in. Let's do that. Where did I end up with an extra one of these? Did I not actually place it? I'm going to get hate comments. I already know it. Uh, we're going to put that there, that there, that there, and that there. And these should charge this when we do it. If this is wrong and I put it at the wrong height, I'm gonna actually going to have to drop it one, but I think it is at the right height. Okay, and all that we should have to do now is come here, uh, put a spark right here. I know it's kind of dark. You can't see it very well, but there is a spark there. Uh, and you right click it with the wand. It'll kind of show you where the sparks are linked to, where they're ready to send mana around, and they are linked up. So this should actually be good to go. Uh, we're going to come up here and throw... Uh, pearl, mana diamond, and mana steel agate on there. And it's going to give us a light show, which tells us it's working. Awesome. Awesome. It's working. Look at that. Shooting up all the particles. Looks pretty cool. We 
with this setup. So boom, boom, and boom. Look at that. It looks beautiful. Love it. And we need two Terra Steel, so I am going to make the two. Why is that going so slow? Oh, my pools are getting drained. Oh, well. Not a big deal. Not really worried. We still have ten tablets. Uh, the Terra Steel does take a, quite a bit. Uh, it only takes about half a pool each, I believe. So what I'm going to do with this right away is this. Then we're going to have to grab a core. Elven Gateway core. There we go. There we go. And I also made this glimmering living wood. It's just living wood and glowstone. Uh, I need these eight. And we're going to set up our portal now. Which is pretty easy. You can go in here. Go by. Go by. We're going to have to make some pylons too. But let's make this first. Let me put it here or here. Here? Here. Here. There we go. Oh, no. Got to right click. Right click. There we go. I think it actually said sneak. But right click worked. Uh, so we're going to take the core. Core is going to go over here. Grab these. Put that there. That there. Uh, placement block. Placement block. Grab the glimmers. That. That. This. This. That. That. One more placement. And that. And it'll say structure complete, which is exactly what we wanted to say. Said the same thing when we made the plate too. I think I forgot to point it out. Not a big deal. There we go. One thing I forgot to about either earlier too. When we were uh, working on the runic altar, if you ever get an item there that you don't want, I, I know we're staring at a blank block right now, but if you right click it with an open hand, it'll pull them off. Uh, the last item that was on there first, just so you know how to get those off. A lot of people don't know how to do that and get confused and end up having to break the altar. Uh, but just right click with open hand. If it fills the hand because you don't have it in your inventory again, you have to move the item to do it again or grab another open hand. Simple as that. Uh, we're going to need two mana pools. So let's do that. So one here and one here. It doesn't matter exactly where you put these. But I believe it has to be two. Uh, so that is something to worry about. I don't know the range, but it's a set range from the core that it has to be. I'm not sure the exact number though. Uh, we're also going to need two pylons. And do we have everything in there? I think I do. Pylon and a pylon. Two pylons. Then we're going to have to go straight to the Natura pylons, which we can do. Natura pylon and Natura pylon. Excellent. Got everything we need. We should be pretty much good to go. Let's see here. So you take these Natura pylons and with the pools with the spark, you just sh oh, just right click on them. There you go. Do that. Uh, and we just need mana in here. And the easiest way to do that right now is going to be with these tablets. Uh, I don't need five. Let's put one back. There we go. Is my mana coming back? I destroyed my mana. Not really an issue. I can fill them at any time I want with the tablets. There's one. Do that. Get the other two in there too. Might as well fill these up. Uh, it'll take about a third of a bar, I think. Uh, no, it's a quarter. A quarter of a bar to open up the gate and then there's a very small maintenance cost over time as well to keep the portal open uh, that should be good there right click boom we have a portal just want to make sure those are fully doing their thing don't want to touch those uh, yeah you can come on here now we're gonna do some exchanges so if I go to use and go to elven trade see here two mana steel equals elementium and uh, there's other trades as well. Uh, I think if you look at the core, you can see them all. Core, uses, there you go. So living wood goes in dream wood, man of steel to elementium, which has armor. <laughs> if you want pink armor. Mana pearl is the pixie dust, which we're going to need. Uh, some dragon stones for the diamonds. Then I think this one's just an aesthetic. No, that's just a block. These are aesthetic. They used to make uh, aesthetic blocks. The elf glass is actually pretty cool glass. It's animated. Uh, if you ever need 
a single uh, ingot of iron, you can trade it for a negative iron. <laughs> Some of these recipes, I don't know why they're there. I'm sure there's reasons behind it. But if you, I think it's because if, it makes sense, I guess. It's all the resources that you use in the regular pools. They might think you might make the mistake. It just seems kind of funny that it throws it back. Because if I take anything else, I don't have any junk on me. But a piece of junk and throw it through there, I'm pretty sure it just destroys it. So uh, I guess with those items, it gives you them back. It's kind of a safeguard. But we are going to do this right now. Crabs and Elementium. Uh, I need some of that too. Pixie Dust. And we muzzle grab some Dragon Stones. Don't need a ton of those, but we do need them. There we go. That should be enough to get us going. Because we are going to work on one more thing. Before we uh, move on to... You know, other things. Uh, let's get rid of these for now. Don't need that. Oh, I meant to throw this in here. I definitely need these. That's why I brought these. These are going to give us our upgraded spreaders. Check this. Is it one to one on those? If it's one to one, don't know if I'm going to need that many. Six. Yeah, we'll do three stacks. And the living rock. Okay, the living rock doesn't go through there. It used to go through there. Uh, but it didn't have any use, so I can see why. It took it out. That's why I was curious. And one seven though, you could throw it in there. I forget what the name of the stone it turned into. There we go. We're not going to worry about those right now. I just want to get them made. Uh, what I do want to do now, though, is make us a mana battery. And it's not an item, it's kind of a setup. So let's look at arguments. We want to make some of these. We'll make the dominant. We need a recessive. And I want to try to isolate it. I don't know if it's going to work. So rune of airs, two rune of airs, a rune of earth, and a rune of fire. Okay. So let's go two rune of airs, rune of fire. And I believe it was Rune of Earth. Do that. And grab these. So we're going to make two isolated. One. Two. What? 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 Oh, because grab. It always confuses me when it grabs it front of our inventory. <laughs> it only let you make one at a time. Uh, dominant. There we go. I did not mean to make two of those. Oh yeah, that's exactly what I wanted. I'm so confused right now. Okay. Um, I must have had more runes in there. and kind of forget about them. There we go. Um, what else do we got here? Doot. Doot and doot. I guess I don't need all this living stone, so let's just clear that out. Let's get rid of junk so we don't get confused. We don't need any of this. This is all stuff that we'll need in the future. All I really need is this, pools, and sparks, right? Okay. So let's make a mana battery. Boom. Next. Uh, how do I want... Oh, placement block. I guess I can use lapis. As oh, I got this placement blocks too. Excellent. We're going to go here, here. Is that high enough? I guess we should go one more. No. Yes. One, two, three. That's one. Just thinking. Down one more. Let's go down one. We're going to put a pool right here. This pool is going to immediately get a spark. This spark is going to be a recessive spark. I'm just going to kind of set this up and then explain it. Uh, we're going to then take pools and we're going to kind of just move them. Oh, I didn't want that one there. Although it doesn't really matter, I guess. I could even make a, another level to the battery. And it's already starting to work. Um, I'll explain it now, I guess. Let's uh, target these. Can I... Mm. I don't understand why I can't target that. What, what mode is this in? Bind. Bind to this pool. Basically, what this recessive spark is going to do, it's... I'm going to set all the spreaders to shoot into this pool. 
because it has a recessive spark, what is respect recessive spark does is if there's another pool with a spark nearby within 12 blocks I believe uh, oh leg it will try to move the mana to those pools so I can basically use this one as the buffer for my entire mana power system uh, and that is the idea around it and I can use those other nine below it as my battery so all I basically need to do now is go upstairs and put a dominant on one of the pools because I'm in going to end up only having one pool up there. Um, it, it will get charged anytime it needs mana by if these are fully charged. It would be, I guess this pool doesn't even have a spark in it so we'll get rid of it. Uh, I could set up another ring, I'm not going to bother. Um, it will get charged by nine pools at once it will take no time to charge it so that is the idea around the battery it's basically a giant mana buffer and it'll make it so we can do mana things with that pool very easily and uh, that is the joy of it gonna get these all set up and uh, yeah I can actually upgrade these spreaders now too I don't think I'm gonna do it right now just kind of want to get this all set up and working and charging with cool upgrades a lot of people don't work with these these uh, augments and they are so awesome and they do amazing things for Britannia most people just do a setup make some terrorist deal and move on with their lives but there's so much you can do with Britannia it's a mod that doesn't really get to see you know it's full ability unless uh, Unless it's the only mod in the pack, I find. Uh, so, we still have two more augments, and we're going to just do something here real really quick. Uh, you do need those pylons there, but the, it does hold the charge for a bit, so I don't have to be in a giant rush. Uh, I'm going to take them and throw them one on there and one on there. And these isolated is basically what they're going to do. Um, when I put a dominant spark on one of these, it would have pulled the mana from those pools and drained our portal. But because I put those isolateds on there, uh, it will not drain the mana at all. They will keep their mana. They're basically their own part of the system, and we don't have to worry about them being drained. So if I put this on here now, get on there. That one's going to start filling up really quick. Like, look at the speed of that. But that is draining from all the pools downstairs and the other pools here and there you go we're down to almost only one one pool of mana but that isn't a problem these are all drained now and they're all trying to fill this one master pool this is the one pool that rules them all uh, yeah and that's basically the setup to the mana battery I will end up getting rid of this distributor and these three other mana pools I might set up a second ring of uh, pools or yeah maybe an outside ring I could hold a ton of mana then. I'd, be, I'd have 25, 26, 27 pools of mana. And all I would, I would have to do is idle. <laughs> uh, and I'd have tons of mana. And not this episode, but next one. We're going to be able to upgrade our mana output. We're going to be able to probably double our mana output. No problem. And uh, move on to other things. But yeah. I think I'm going to end this video here. I think we achieved an actually ton today. This is actually massive how much we did. We've got Terra still going, we got our, the Portal of Alfheim going, and we got a mana battery going. So I think this is a very successful video. If you guys like this video, please leave a like. If you really liked it, hit that subscribe button. It's much appreciated. And uh, as always, I want you guys all to have a good one, and I will see you guys in the next video. Later.